Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, we're looking at Psalm 22, the Psalm of the Cross. This Old Testament Psalm predicts, prophesies the death of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross in a very clear way like no other Psalm does. We talked about that yesterday. Today also, we just want to take a moment to read the inscription that we did not read yesterday that begins the psalm, to the chief musician, set to the deer of the dawn, a psalm of David. So we know David wrote this psalm. He meant for it to be sung, and it sounds like it was to be sung to a popular tune of that day, which would have been called the deer of the dawn. And uh, so that's as much as we know about that. Now, this psalm also forms a trilogy uh, with Psalm 23 and 24. Just like Psalm 20 and 21 went together, a prayer and a praise, this psalm is about Christ the shepherd, and it goes along with chapter 22, uh, 23, and 24. They go together. It's amazing how God's Holy Spirit put these three psalms together because they picture the shepherd, the good shepherd, the chief shepherd, the great shepherd, like no other place in the Bible. And we'll look at that. So Psalm 22, we see the good shepherd who gives his life for the sheep. And we go to John chapter 10. In John chapter 10, Jesus said in verse 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. In verse 14, I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and, have, and am known by my own. As the Father knows me, even so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. My friend, as you read Psalm 22, you'll see Jesus and his, his death, his, the emotional aspect of it, the spiritual aspect of it, the psychological and the physical suffering of Christ on the cross. He's the good shepherd who voluntarily laid down his life for the sheep because he loves the sheep. He gave his life. He came and took on human flesh that he might die on a cross in our place for our sins. He's the good, good shepherd who gives his life for the sheep. Then in Psalm 23, he is the uh, chief shepherd who, who, I'm sorry, he is the great shepherd who lives for the sheep. And you know Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And we'll be talking about that later. And of course we find this in the passage of Hebrews chapter 13, where now it says, May the God of peace who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you complete in every good work to do His will, working in you what is well-pleasing in His sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. So Jesus is the good shepherd, John 10. Here in Hebrews 13, 20, He's the great shepherd of the sheep. Oh, how beautiful is that, my friend. And then we find He is also the chief shepherd, and He returns in glory to reward His sheep. And that's in 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, and we read, And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that does not fade away. And boy, when we read Psalm 24 and the King of glory, who is this King of glory? Oh, Jesus Christ, He is the clean King of glory, and He'll enter into the gates of the city and set up His kingdom. And we'll see that in 24. So you see how chapters 22, 23, and 24 form this trilogy of Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd, the Great Shepherd, and the Chief Shepherd, who gives his life for the sheep. So, my friend, what a wonderful shepherd we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. He dies for us, he lives for us, and he's coming again for us. And I believe he's coming very, very soon, and we can be looking up. So we'll be enjoying Psalm 22, 23, and 24 over the next few weeks, or a few days at least, and I trust they'll be a blessing to you. God bless, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.